welcome to Starfield Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. And we're doing one. Today is the 24th. And this is a uh, weekly update 151 or 152. It's on the internet, 150 yes. something. Yeah. Okay, so been kind of a rough week. <coughs> Busy week. Ended all right today though, right? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so we'll start within the barn stalls. We lost um, Cisco Kid and my little Dorset Cross that I was keeping. I can't even remember his name now. Uh, Frog. And then anything else happen? Mm. Oh, we lost Mickey. So, Bully Boy is still really weak. Um, prayers would be accepted, correct? Mm -hmm. If we just could build his strength, that that's his thing. Is right now he's just really weak. So, um, I don't know what got any of them. The heat has been horrible this week, like mm -hmm. 103, 104 plus humidity. So, all we can think is they're not going over and drinking enough. Or Cisco was just old. We got him when he was what? Five. Five. And we've had him three, four, five years. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how many years. Three? It's four. Mm -hmm. Well, I know we've had him three breeding seasons at least. Maybe four. I don't think we've had him five. I think we've had him Three or four. And nine can you go. Yeah. He was older, which I get. And then um, we've only lost two sh lamb this year. Well, three. Because Sally's little preemie didn't live. And then we lost Melody. And we've lost... Gigi. His, or I'm sorry, Gigi. And then um, we've lost uh, Frog. But here's the thing. This has been the hottest summer on record in the last hundred years. So I think when you have wool animals like this, I think we've done pretty good at making sure they have water, electrolytes, everything. You know, we've heard other stories of people losing them far worse than us. And out of what, twenty two dozen head of cattle, I've lost one. So I, I'm not I'm just upset it's all like it hit us boom, 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 boom. And so that made it worse, right? So, but I mean, our year has not been bad for anything like that. We've had worse years, but the whole losing them all consecutively is pretty rough. So, um, anything else? And Rascal escaped. Um, Upon multiple occasions. Well, we figured out where he was getting out. I don't have a screen in my window because we used to have an air conditioner in there. Mm -hmm. And we like to open the window mm -hmm. at night and put a fan in there. Mm -hmm. And the fan doesn't take up the whole window. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's mad about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so his cat got to where he was sneaking out my bedroom window. Tom, Tom, Tom. He's out Tom cat around. He's fixed. He can't do anything. He just, I don't know. I don't know what he was doing going out. But we fixed it. It's fine. Rascal's back in. Right? I don't mean the point of thing. She did. <laughs> don't mean to point a finger, but she did it. Thanks, son. Alright, anything yeah. else in the barn stalls? Um, I think there's a flake of hay and maybe some feed. We've got some potential homes for star, for Storm and Precious, correct? Mm -hmm. And we got word that we'll be getting uh, our other donkey from Arizona. She's a gray little Jenny. So um, we don't know when, though. We'll introduce you to her. Uh, what are we going to name her? Have we even thought about this? Donkey. 
You already have donkey. I was calling Mr. Donkey. Mr. I was donkey. having um. Well, I called Mr. Donkey Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I went out to gather um Kavayu this morning, and him and Ice and Durf were all right there. Well, Durf likes to have on me, and he was rubbing his head and all this, and Kavayu was staying right with me, and Ice decided he was going to be a turd and run the other way and try to take them away from me while they weren't leaving. And so, Mr. Donkey come up, and he was between Ice and the other two, and he started his, ee -ah, ee -ah, and I'm like, look, what do you want, Donkey Kong? <laughs> and so, he took off running the minute I turned my attention to him, so, yeah, it was funny. But, all right. Anything else in the barn stalls? I don't think so. Um, many fences. We got a rental truck. Yay! Okay, but what did we find out about the rental truck? It's utterly useless. It is useless. I could go and get the feed Thursday that I need to get, but they don't want me towing any trailers with it. They said it's not. It's a liability, and they're not allowing it. So, I can't haul anything around with it. I can't move animals. Nothing. Um, so, we're still having to borrow trailers and RJ's bum and rides to get to rodeos. It's just kind of a pain, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anything else that we've been doing that... Um, Tuesday, I'm going over to clean up my truck. I got word that they have decided it's going to be totaled out. So, um, it is what it is, correct? Uh, what else? We're getting ready for shearing, right? I got the blade sharpened and we're going to get ready and shear. We're going to start shearing hopefully next week, right? Mm -hmm. Um, anything else? Many fences? I don't think so. All right, what's up next? Have you, is it in the field? <coughs> Oh, you're disgusting. Uh, she made a man. I dumped his phone down. Where I picked this up. Mm -hmm. That's his idea of I made a mess. Okay. In the yarn farm. Um, really, we're getting ready for shearing. That's about it, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Um, I've tumbled a few fleeces. I've got to get them washed and get going on them, and I'm going to start working on them pretty regular. Oops, I'm hitting buttons. And he's checking his phone. How rude! I know. What is the matter? Oh, nothing. I was just setting another video. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, in the fields, let's talk about Miss Piggy's garden. What happened in Miss Piggy's garden this week? Um, we harvested what? We got rooted in the butt. That's what we did. We got what? Rooted in the butt. That means pink. she didn't want us to take enough pumpkins. No, she didn't. She. We harvested two of her pumpkins to take to the local fair because they were different. Mm -hmm. um, they deemed them ornamental pumpkins, correct? Because mm -hmm. the stem says they are pumpkins, but they're warty. So we don't know, you know, what exactly that means. Um, but it's, they deem ornamental, and she got a second and a third, right? All right, so that was Miss Piggy's in the fields. I went down to the, um, garden, and the wind had knocked over my teepee. I got it back up, but the, um, spinach is now all on the ground. That climbing spinach, which is a beautiful plant. Oh my gosh. Um, and then the wind knocked over my trellis for my loofah, gourds, and cucumbers. So we got that set back up. Um, pretty much there are loofah gourds that are forming. So um, I'm pretty excited, right? Because I'll get a ton of those. And I'm actually, I have an idea to put those in soaps. So that's a wonderful thing, right? Anything else in the field? We mowed the yard. Anything else? Not really. 
All right, in the farmhouse, what have we been doing? What did you do Friday? From 9 to 2. I went. I took a nap. Yeah. From 1 to 2. <laughs> We went to the local fair and we got, we did our petting zoo. Uh-huh. Um, uh -huh. now, uh -huh. the, <laughs> we had a lot of controversy over our petting zoo. Uh-huh. One uh -huh. fair board uh -huh. member, are you done? You can tell uh -huh. the story. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right, then you tell it. Uh-huh. 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 You think uh -huh. you're funny, don't you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right, can we finish? Uh -huh. I have no idea what that even was. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> He's losing it over here. <laughs> we don't know. Should we be worried? I don't know. Dad's down there. Okay. Um, anyway, so we were asked to do the petting zoo. Um, but We were asked to do the petting zoo, which was controversial in itself because last year, what happened? Um, we're not going to rehash that. It wasn't fun. It wasn't funny. The gentleman that instigated the whole thing um, has since apologized, so we're not even going to go there. Um, but basically, last year, we were asked to do it last minute. I said I would. They were supposed to call me if they couldn't get this other family that was supposed to be doing it. They didn't call and then they were mad that I didn't show up. So anyway, this year um, they asked us and we showed up there and they hovered. Like, I don't know if they were scared we were going to do something stupid, but um, I don't think we unloaded by ourselves. I don't think we anything correct. And one board member sat there and was at the gate like 90% of the time, correct? A solid 80%. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, he came in and we're, before we even had kids in there, they said, well, you need to put the horse behind a gate. Now, it's Storm. Storm does all of our pony rides here. Well, not all of them. Coop does some too. But she does the majority of the pony rides here. She is a kid horse. She loves kids. She won't stomp her feet if there's kids around. She won't swish her tail. She is very conscious of, of kids. So, the kids... We put her behind the thing, and we put her behind the, <laughs> choking on the ice now. <laughs> um, the, we put her behind a gate, like they said, and that wasn't what we really wanted. We wanted them to be able to touch her and feel her and pet her. And um, the first class comes in, and they couldn't get to her, so they start climbing the fence. And I was like, no, that's more dangerous than us having her out here. And so we took her out against his wishes. He was a little hacked, but didn't get a chance to say anything to us as we did it because there was people around and he knew better than to say anything to me in front of someone. And so um, we brought her out and we have our little speech when we are dealing with kids. Okay, guys, turn your ears up, turn your mouths down. That way nobody will leave here with a frown, you know, and then we ask them how many eyes they have, how many feet they have, and I said, how many eyes does the horse have, and they'll ask them how many feet the horse has, and everybody always says two, because it's two is always the answer, two eyes, two feet, two eyes for the horse, and then they automatically say two feet, and I'll go, what, look again, and so they'll look and they say, oh, she's got four, and I'm like, yes, now, if she's only got two eyes, and you can watch your two feet with your two eyes, how many feet can Storm watch with her eyes? And they'll say two, and I'll tell them, okay, so we're going to stay to the front of the horse so that she can watch those two feet and nobody gets hurt at the back. And I said it would just be an accident, blah, blah. And we do this every time kids come through. And so um, when we were doing it, there was another board member who was just tickled to death. He loved the horse. He loved the fact they got to, to feed the animals crackers. You know, we had animal crackers there. Um how many kids we decided we had? A hundred and twenty-five. Hundred and twenty-five kids on average, and um, of those hundred and twenty-five kids, one child got the tip of his little finger pinched because he wouldn't let go of the cracker, and the donkey wanted it. 
Huh. He held it out, and the donkey wouldn't get, you know. Um, and the teachers were trying to make them put their hands, like, flat out. We don't do it that way. It's like, we do it naturally. Just give them the cookie. They take it with their lips, and then they're done. Um, the kids. Yes, I do. They're inside the other ones because they're smaller. No, they're not. Anyway. Oh, get that. It went flying. Um, don't help me. Said. Wow. Anyway. Guys, it is a catastrophe. No, it's not. It Come is on. true. Can I finish? So, anyway. Um, we the are man, out. Are you done? Because now I'm getting mad. Why is that so funny? <laughs> All right, quit. You're even jiggling the camera now. Stop it. Um, so <laughs> the guy, the uh, gentleman who wanted us to put the horse up, he lurked at the doorway of this enclosed area where we did the petting zoo. He never said anything after that because he pretty much figured out we were going to do what we were going to do. Um, by the end of the day, what did he tell us? What did he tell you? Because he actually stopped you and made it a point. Somebody else stopped me and said they really liked the setup, really liked the kids got to interact with them, really liked they got to feed them. Um, the kids got to go through the back barn where the show animals were, but they weren't allowed to touch. Where we were, we had it set up where they could touch and they could feed. We had um, Fudgy, Buttercup, Melody, Gonzo, Layton, Delilah, Murphy, and Storm. So we had sheep, goats, pigs, a little bit of everything, the donkey and the horse and a cow. Right? Everything that they saw in the back plus some. Um, and the kids had a blast. So afterwards, what did our little lurky man say? He said... That he actually he made really a point liked to stop. the way that, that we did the petting zoo. He said it was, uh, he asked, that's why we did it at the house. And I said, kind of, sort of. I said, that's kind of the way we do everything. I said, but the only difference is the animals are all together. I said, but uh, he said he really liked the way it went and the fact that all the kids kind of got a story type deal with it. Yeah. Because we talked about each animal. Like, you had a class of like 20, 25, and I'd ask them what the pigs say, what do cows say, what do sheep say. And the Angora goat confused even the teachers. They all said it was a sheep, huh? Mm -hmm. And I was like, nope, that's a goat. What do goats say? And so, um, yeah, we had fun with it. Right? So, anyway, Lurky Man decided that he really liked it because the teachers voice the fact that they liked it. It wasn't just pass through the fair and see everything. It was they got to interact. Um, and then the big wall that was there was the wall where they take the pictures of the winners, um, like for the livestock show. You're not helping me out here, dude. No. I can't think of words. Um, but anyway, so we used that wall, and when everybody got done, they emptied their hands of the cookies, then they got to come over and see Storm. And then after that, they lined up the wall, and each teacher got to take a picture of her class with this big thing that says, Know What a County Free Fair, which was good, right? Now, the only thing is, is they fed us really well. At 1 o'clock, we went and got, oh, it was like 12.30. We went and got, what did we get? Chicken fried steak. Mm -hmm. Chicken fried steak. <laughs> Chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, a roll, and pie, and tea. So, um, it was good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. RJ got his belly full and sat there and went to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. He fell asleep. After the um, school kids had come through, um, we didn't have as many kids coming through at the time. So, we did have, um, after we went live, we had a few people show up from out of area just to come see the animals. So, that was a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> and then today, what did we do? Went back to the county fair. You were challenged, correct? Yep. And what happened? I lost. <laughs> we did. 
horrible. It was RJ and I in the horse show against. We were Team Straw, and we need another. Mayor. Our friends were. We do. Well, they had a professional groom. You can't get two upset. Out of two for three. Well, um, Gage and Henry. Henry is four. Okay, and so he did two lead lines, and of course that means that he's cute on a pony. Um, and then Gage is the dad. Well, Trista event and like she does show prep stuff and uh, she was their groomsman for today because they always go to horse shows for her and this was a chance for them to just have fun at the county level and um you should that's your glasses huh I can do it. <laughs> um anyway so we were team straw and we won how many ribbons Four. Four. I won a second. I was in my first. I've never showed horses before. I've trained horses, but I've never showed one. Um, different kind of training in that sense. Mm -hmm. So, and RJ, what classes were you? I was just in the halter class. Precious did awesome. It was one of her first trips to town in public. Just other than she's been from here over to Kevin's and back, and that's it, isn't she? I went and caught a few cows on her. Oh, you went to the neighbor's pasture. Wahoo! Um, but not around other horses and big groups and all that stuff. She's never had that kind of thing. So, um, she did amazing for what she was there for. And she got second in her class. So, and RJ, you did. You know, you should have. <laughs> um, let's get a Ziploc bag done, but he took, no, he took all the staples out of my box of staples. Well, I didn't take them all out. I took part of them out trying to get a really, really long stick. Yeah. And then, so. But some of them broke, so. All of them broke. I tried to get <laughs> one out, and they all broke. Anyway, just get a different bag. Don't make a big mess out of it, please. Um, Done. They're back in the drawer. They are, but they're not in the box. You have to put them in the box, please. Um, anyway, so. I did halter class. You did a halter, not back in the come on. You did a lead line, or not lead line. <laughs> yeah, I did lead line. Uh, you did a halter class, right? Yep. And then what else did you do? You did Western pleasure. Western riding or something like. Western that. riding. I'm not sure. It's a big game assignment. It says. Pretty much, the judge tells you what to do, and she just judges the horses. For doing it. Him and Gage were both off on their leads. Correct. And then when they said stop, Storm, when she stopped, she like slid halfway across and they're like, no, we want a calm stop. <laughs> uh, but not for camp roping though, right? Right. So anyway, but we had fun. We lost. We ended up paying for the pizza. That's okay. Right? We fed half of it to a stray dog. We did not feed half of it to a stray dog. The stray dog stole half of a pizza. Um, yeah, it probably needed it more than we did. <laughs> so, uh, it was okay. At least it stole the half of the one that we had two of. Because mm -hmm. we'd bought like four little pizzas. And it was bacon cheddar. And we gotten two of those because it's a favorite amongst the two families. And the stray dog stole half of one of those. So we had a full one left. So, yeah, we had enough for dinner. And the ice cream truck showed up. So, anyway, on the porch, what have we been doing? I honestly have just been getting stuff ready for, um, I have two different consignment things I was doing. And then I have, um, was getting ready stuff for the stuff for the fair, correct? Yep. So, um, I got... What did we figure out? Twenty-two and a half. No. Two fourths, two thirds, two seconds, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven firsts. I almost had them, guys. I almost broke them. Right? Three, four. She cleaned the house. Yeah. Well, I didn't clean house, but I did okay. Um, she are you gonna? Kicked button, took names later, folks. Are you gonna show them what I wrote about you? I got first place for my poem. You gonna read it? Well, I put it in my room. Want me to go get it? Well, if you're gonna read it, you better. Will you read it if I go get it? Alright, fine. Whoa! I don't know what the deal is with that. 
Anyway, so um, all of these are going to go out in the barn. We're debating whether to put Miss Piggy's ribbons. Um, now, we were told RJ entered one for her and I entered one for her because only one could be entered in the um, class per a resident. And I argued that Miss Buttercup is a resident of Noana County. They then said it had to be a human resident. And I told them that wasn't fair because they did not say that in the fair book. <laughs> And they said, no, nah, you're supposed to know that. And I said, fine. So they didn't really want Miss Piggy entering. So we entered for her. RJ entered one and I entered one. We don't know which one which, but um, they were both hers. They were from her thing. But people were very fascinated with them, weren't they, so? So um, her pumpkins were all the rage there at the fair. Um, at the county fair. Yep. She's going to be the next, um, what was that pig's name? Wilbur, right? Mm -hmm. We deemed her, we told all the kids she was the gardening pig. <laughs> they liked it. Okay, so I wrote one story, which got first, and then I wrote a poem. And the poem says, it's called Rodeo Dreams. He dreams of the cowboy way. He wants to make a living with his rope someday. Each weekend, he loads up his horse and twine. Mom lets him know, no matter what, everything will be just fine. He hits the road and travels by night. I can't see, no, there's no light. I can't read it, dude. No, sit down and stay out of the sunlight. Oh. He hits the road and travels by night. Getting to each rodeo on time is always a fight. There's so much to do on the farm each day, but he has to earn a wage and pay his own way. The arena lights come on as he saddles up his mare. Together they make one beep of a pair. I won't say that bad word on our podcast. Sorry. H-E double hockey sticks. The old timers write him off as he go, as he's just a young pup. They don't really take notice when he goes to pay up. He banks in the box and hears nothing at all. He leaves the chute, does his thing, and waits for the flag to fall. As the dust clears and the judge gives a nod, the old timers realize they've been such a cod. He rides out of the gate with his head held high. People take notice and cheers start to fly. Eight seconds is all it took to tie that cap down. And with some cash in his pocket, he's off to the next town. So that got first. Uh, nothing great. I mean, so I just published that in a book. <laughs> he's kind of proud of it, but he was my inspiration. So he's like, somebody needs to publish that. I don't know that it's that good, but um, yeah, I tend to like it. And then my story took first. I feel bad because I entered this. There's this one lady who always writes poems and stuff, and she's been doing it forever, and she's older. And this is the first time I've entered, and my stuff won over hers every time, and I felt horrible. So, uh, people say I shouldn't, but still, I mean, she's been working at it longer than me. I decided I was going to put some stories in. And it's not your fault. You're just that good. <laughs> no, I'm not. But thank you. He thinks it's the subject matter that won it. So, um. Maybe. You're just lucky. That could be the case. So, anyway. Um. I think that's about all we've been doing is like just kind of focused on the fair. You rodeo what two nights? No, Thursday. Thursday and Saturday. Thursday night and then Saturday. Thursday night. How'd you do? Yeah. He missed. Actually, his kept run through it. Um, and then Saturday, how'd you do? Second and second round. Second and second round, and his others he caught them. It was just too long to place, so. But other than that, we're trying to get back on track, right? So, um, we're going to get off here and go eat some pizza, huh? We'll get Bully Boy up and make sure he's up and drinking lots of water. We'll go out and pick him up. Do what? You just ate all the bananas. There's pizza left over from lunch from our hang up. And a bag of popcorn. And he ate bananas and popcorn, but now there's pizza to do. I did make a big old pot of chili, too, just so that we'd have it for hot dogs and that. So that during the fair week we'd have something that I didn't have it's to do. It's 100 degrees outside and he's making chill. 
I made it in the car pot so it didn't heat up the house, and then um, we had it to eat. And I didn't hear you complaining when you were eating it, bud. I didn't say I was complaining. I just said it's 100 degrees and you made chili. I did. But now, chili granted, I've eaten about dogs four and... bowls of it. But... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he didn't even eat. He didn't even do hot dogs with it. He just ate chili. So. All right, so we're going to get off here, and we'll see you next week. We're going to get back to our regular schedule of podcasting on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And we will talk to you next time. Bye.